Hey, what's up guys? My name is Echerno and welcome back to my C++ series. So, you've decided to use a Mac. There are plenty of different tools you can use to build C++ applications on Mac, but the one that I'm gonna recommend is Xcode. Xcode is an IDE written by Apple. It's not too bad. It can be slow on large projects. For example, we use Xcode over at EA to build games for iOS. And I can tell you that some of the compile times are upwards of 20 minutes for games like Need for Speed No Limits. It's also a nightmare to actually write code because everything's lagging like crazy when you've got a project that large. However, for small projects like this and to learn C++, I still think Xcode is probably the best IDE. So, let's go ahead and install it. Okay, so on your Mac, we're gonna go to the App Store. We're gonna type in Xcode. And then we're gonna install it. And of course, this will take some time depending on how fast your internet is. All right, so once Xcode is installed, let's go ahead and open it. We'll accept all of the terms and conditions. Xcode's gonna go ahead and install some components for us. Okay, so once that's done, we're gonna create a new Xcode project. For the template, we're just gonna click on Mac OS and then choose Command Line Tool. We'll give it a name, so Hello World, in this case. And then under the language, we're gonna select C++. You'll have to put in some kind of organization identifier, like com.yourcompany is the suggested one, so you can do something like com.whatever domain name you own. It doesn't really matter. This is just supposed to be some kind of unique identifier. It doesn't really matter what it is. Um, just put something in there and hit next. Then you're gonna to wanna to select a location for this. Um, I like to store things inside my user directory and then in a folder called dev. So I'll make a folder called dev and then just click create in there. All right, so there we go. Xcode would like to access your contacts. We don't really need that for this. Um, this is basically what an Xcode project looks like. There's a few project settings that you'll find inside the actual, if you click on the actual name of the project, you've got all these build settings and build phases. For the most part, we don't really need to touch anything. So you'll see that we've, also, we've already got a main .cpp file and we've already got a bunch of code, but I'm gonna type it out again just so that it matches the other videos. So basically, we're gonna do include IO stream, int main, std c out, hello world. And then we'll do our std c in dot get. Save that, and then all you have to do to actually build it is you can hit product and then build. That will compile it for you. There you go, build succeeded. And then if you wanna run it, you can just hit this play button. That will also build it as well. You'll have to enable developer mode if this is your first time running Xcode. And off we go. So the build succeeded and you should see a console pop out in the bottom here with your output. We'll just hit enter and you can see the program terminate successfully. And that's it. We're ready to learn C++ on Mac. All right, you've got Xcode up and running. You're finally ready to learn some C++. Over the next few videos, we're gonna start learning how C++ actually works because that's pretty much the key to writing it properly. Until then, make sure you follow me on Twitter and Instagram. And if you really like this series, you can support it on Patreon. Well, I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.